Hey everyone, thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you for continuing to tune in. If you are a new subscriber, welcome. I am so happy that you are here and that you found me on YouTube and that we can have a great conversation. I'm just gonna do a really short video for this week because it's Christmas and everyone's busy and no one has time to watch YouTube videos unless you're a nerd like me who really has nothing else better to do but sit in front of a TV and knit and watch plant videos. Anyway, I just wanted to talk really quickly as a follow-up to my propagation video, which I will link somewhere above here, about cutting your Hoyas. I know so many people are terrified to cut their Hoyas. I used to be one of those people. I thought I was going to kill my plant and it was just going to die and just bad things would happen if I took anything resembling scissors or nippers or clippers to my Hoyas. But I'm here to tell you, do not be afraid of it. Do not worry about it. Your Hoyas will love you. They will get fuller. And then you get to make more Hoyas with what you cut. Like, it's a win-win situation. I, I'm pretty sure. I mean, I don't know how you can how you cannot think that's a good idea. But I wanted to show you one of my other Hoyas as a case in point. This Hoya Chelsea I had for a long time. It did absolutely nothing. It did not put out any growth. It didn't put out any peduncles. It didn't grow. It didn't do anything. And I actually had two of these and I gave one away. Yes, I am an absolute crazy person. I gave one to my neighbor, but you know, I like her. She's really nice. Because I thought they were kind of meh and they weren't doing anything. And it wasn't until I started taking cuttings off of this Hoya Chelsea. And I first started taking cuttings off of this one because I wasn't that, you know, attached to it really because it did nothing. Oh my God, cats. Cats. Cats everywhere today. And now, since I took those cuttings, there's a ton of new growth. There's this guy sprouting out, there's this new growth here, there's a new growth there. And if I look in here, and I can't really show you, but there's all these new vines starting to sprout out. So this Hoya is responding so well to being cut. So please do not be afraid to cut your Hoyas. Also, I want to talk about why you would take a cutting of your Hoyas if you're not planning to grow and sell. And honestly, I never was planning to grow and sell or propagate or be house planty or anything like making YouTube videos. No, that was not in the plan whatsoever at all. But here I am. Also, another reason why you want to cut your Hoyas and you want to share Hoyas with the world, because if you're watching this, you love Hoyas as much as I love Hoyas and you want everyone to know about the joy of Hoyas because they're awesome. How can you not look at this? I can wear it, I can wear it as, can you see me? I don't know, can you see me? I can't, it's just so thick and amazing. Like, I wanna hug them, I love it. <laughs> All right, you wanna share your plants because God forbid something happens, the heat fails, there's a fire, you somehow go away and you come back and your plant is dead. If I gave this plant to someone else, then that someone else has this plant. I've already given cuttings off of this Chelsea to at least three friends that I can think of. So God forbid, if something happens to this plant, I have a clone of my plant and I hope they would give me a cutting back because they're good friends. So please do not be afraid to trim and cut your Hoyas. I'm not afraid to do it anymore. In fact, I do it so much and maybe too much, but look how full they are. They're happy. New growth, new growth, new growth. Okay. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great holiday, whatever holiday you celebrate. Um, I don't know why I'm saying that because I'm, oh, I know I'm saying that because I'm not gonna be doing a video for Christmas because I'm gonna be traveling and all over the place and it's gonna be hard for me to do a video. So the next video you're gonna see is at the end of December. So I hope you have a great holiday. Thanks for watching. I really enjoy, I'm so thankful. I am so thankful that you people are here sharing planty things with me because I get to talk to you. Being able to talk to you through a camera about plants just makes my day. Thank you for being here, I'll see you later.